Let me see. Question here. Could aphantasia be caused by some type of trauma? Yes. Oh, some of the papers have demonstrated that sometimes like the one way that we know aphantasia can be acquired is through trauma. It's almost like the psyche in protecting itself and in surviving, it's actually not a bad thing, right? But in surviving, it turns off the visual component of the memory of what happened. What I recommend to people, this is good to keep in mind. If you're looking at training your visualization and making your, your vivid, uh, your imagery much better, but you think that your experience of aphantasia or hypophantasia may be linked to a clear traumatic event in life, I highly recommend being very, very cautious because on the other side of unlocking your mind's eye again, you might not know what type of emotional stuff is waiting to be processed. And it can sometimes throw people for a loop. I've worked with two people that had that happen. They knew that going into the training that could have, that m maybe was going to happen. And they had proper support systems in place. Like that when their mind's eye kicked open and some stuff came up like that, they were able to work through it, but it was uncomfortable. But I knew that and they knew that going in. Like if you're in, a, if you're in the camp of like, I used to visualize real strong when I was this age. And then after this age, when I fell out of the tree or something, my mind's eye wouldn't flip back on. That's, that's a, that's a sign to be very cautious. Just be aware if you want to like train your mind's eye there, it comes with some, some amount of risk, especially if it's, if your mind's eye is shut off due to trauma.